Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Myra from Low Carb Love. And for those of you that don't know me, I've lost over 135 pounds. I've maintained my weight for over 15 years. And today I'm gonna show you three substitutes that have helped me not only maintain my weight, but also not make me feel restricted throughout the years. Okay, so the first option that we're gonna start with is sandwich bread. Super minimal ingredients. That's what I love about this. It's one of my favorite recipes. It's already on the channel. So we have our almond flour. This is just a little bit of sweetener. And no, it does not turn out sweet. Then we have our baking powder. And we're gonna give our dry ingredients a quick little mix before we throw in our wet ingredients. So we have our butter. So we have our eggs. Now this is two eggs and egg whites. We're just gonna add that right in. And now we're just gonna mix. I'm just using a fork, but you can use a whisk, your mixer, you know, whatever's easier for you. And this is the texture that we're looking for. Okay, so we have our baking dish. This is just an eight by eight. We are gonna add some parchment paper right now. Just make sure that your oven's already preheated to 350 degrees before you get started. So I'm just gonna spray this with a little avocado oil and it's gonna actually help keep the parchment paper in place. And now we're just going to pour in our batter. Okay. So right here, I'm just trying to even it out because we are going to make this into our sandwich bread. So you just wanna make it kind of like as even as possible, get it all the way out to the edges, make sure that there's not one side that's like lumpy or higher than the other. So it's all ready. We're gonna bake for about 15 minutes or until golden brown, but I'm gonna show you exactly what it should look like when it's ready. Okay, so this is gonna go in for 15 minutes. All right guys, so while our buns are baking, which they'll be ready soon, we're gonna make a sandwich. I'm actually gonna be breaking my fast with that sandwich. So um, before I break my fast, I always make sure I take my probiotics and prebiotics. If you've been following me for a while, um, these are actually the probiotics and prebiotics that I take, which are by Seed. They're the ones you guys always ask about, so I will leave them linked in the description below for you. I was experiencing a ton of inflammation, a lot of digestive issues. Um, I had, you know, I developed a dairy and gluten intolerance. I can honestly feel that my gut is healing. I'm actually able to eat a little bit more cheese now and it doesn't affect my body the way it used to. If you guys are having any issues with digestion, with um, inflammation, with bloating, this is definitely a great place to start. These are a one of its kind. It's a two in one. It's actually, like I said, a pro and prebiotic. A lot of the probiotics that are out there, they don't make it all the way down into your colon because like our stomach acids are so strong that it kind of like dissolves everything. But these have a capsule within a capsule and it makes it all the way down. It feeds all the little gut bacteria that's down there. So if you don't already have a probiotic and prebiotic that you absolutely love, or you are experiencing like gut issues and like inflammation and bloating, I'm gonna leave these links for you in the description, um, use low carb love at checkout. You get a 15% discount. So cheersies, we're gonna take these and go grab our buns. This is the golden brown color that I'm talking about. Look at that. And do you see how smooth it is? This is why I kind of took my time to smooth it all out because now I'm gonna be able to cut it and slice it. I'm gonna let our bread cool for a bit. Meanwhile, I'm gonna get started on our egg wraps and then at the end, we're gonna assemble our sandwiches. These are the two ingredients that we're gonna be using. We have some almond flour and egg whites. So we're just gonna toss in our almond flour and our egg whites. And for seasonings, I'm gonna use a little bit of salt and we're just gonna give this a good mix. Okay, so this is not gonna thicken up because this is more just think of like a crepe consistency. So we're gonna cook this on a medium heat. We are gonna add a little avocado oil. I'm gonna use my little measuring cup. And spread it. And if you do see some little gaps, you're just gonna fill it in. Okay. Beautiful. That is so pretty, look at that. Okay, so our wraps are all ready and let's go and assemble our sandwiches. And now we're just gonna go ahead and slice our bread. Okay, so it is a little thick, but it's perfect because that's exactly what we need for our sandwich bread. Okay, so we obviously all know how to make a sandwich, but I'm just gonna show you how I make mine. So I add a little bit of mayo, 
Then I have cheese. Um, this is just like a pepper jack for a little bit of extra spice. Ham and turkey, we're gonna use both because why not? Our tomato, our red onion, jalapenos, avocado, our lettuce, and for a little extra spice, sriracha. We have a fully loaded sandwich that's actually healthy. All of these ingredients are clean. They're perfect for like a summer day for a picnic. I mean, just a quick lunch with maybe some healthy low carb, I don't know, chips or like a veggie. But anyway, this is our number one. And now we're gonna move on to our egg wrap. So we have our mayo, sriracha, and we have some sharp cheddar cheese. This is perfect for a super, super quick, low carb snack. I mean, obviously the wraps take like three, I don't know, three minutes from start to finish. And you can make it into like a breakfast burrito. You can do like a little wrap like we're making here for lunch or even like dinner. You can make it like into tacos. Like think about ground beef or, or steak bites, chicken. You have yourself a super, super clean option. So you can use it in so many different ways. And that's what I absolutely love about this. So our wrap is all done. Looks beautiful. I put little toothpicks through it, but obviously that's just optional. I'm just showing you guys that it can hold together. And now we're gonna move on to our final sandwich. Okay, and for our third one, we have a head of lettuce. You're gonna get the full head and cut it right in the middle. So we're pretty much gonna cut it all the way up here. It's the best way for you to end up with all your wraps. It's perfect. So the next step, is we're gonna assemble. Okay, so I've laid them out. These are some just big pieces. And then I just kind of flatten them out because obviously it's gonna make it a lot easier for you to kind of fill everything in. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you how I fill it and roll it so that it doesn't fall apart because I know that's the hardest thing with an unwitch. So I'm gonna show you how I do it. So now we're just gonna fold this over and we're gonna use the parchment to help us. So you're gonna try to tuck in all these ingredients over here, like this side. We're just gonna fold it over and then use the parchment to tuck it in, okay? Because you want it to be nice and tight. I'm actually gonna fold it like a burrito. And now we fold. And we're just gonna continue rolling so it's nice and tight. And we cut. And look at this beautiful unwitch. Looks beautiful. Look at that. And this is also perfect. So many options when it comes to unwitches. All right guys, so we have all three options and they're all absolutely delicious, but I was really feeling the egg wrap, so that's what we're doing the taste test with. And we're just gonna go right in. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. So the filling is obviously delicious. It's a, it's a wrap, it's like a sandwich. I love the fact that you cannot taste the, um, like it doesn't taste eggy, because it was made with egg whites, so I think that that's super important. But it has a really good structure. Like you could really fill this. Like you can make like a Philly cheesesteak, you can make even like a low carb, um, like a burger. It would hold it, like it's not falling apart and it's actually really, really good. So I'm gonna leave the recipes in the description below. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. But thank you guys so much for being here. I love you and I will see you guys on my next video. Mwah.